Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time. Hey, what's going on? So in this video, as the title shows, I'm gonna show you an easy way how to paint your rims. Now these are off my G6, which is out of commission. I'll be uh, showing some videos, fixing that up. I have a cooling problem I gotta work on and some wheel bearing issues. So anyways, I'm putting a bunch of money in the car, so I figured might as well make it look kind of nice. So I got this two times ultra cover gloss black. It's good for you know indoor, outdoor, wood, metal, plastic, and more. So I'll be doing that. Um, I got my new tires. Right, I got my new tires right here for this. So I'm not gonna worry about putting any cards or anything in there, but the ideal way if you wanna keep your tires is you stick like little note cards all the way around there that we can spray. You don't have to worry about any overspray, but since these are coming off and this one's flat anyway, yeah, we're gonna do it like that. So obviously before you paint anything, you're gonna have to you know, pour a little bit Clean them up all nice and whatnot. I'm gonna be doing this in the bed of my truck so it blocks that wind. You can probably hear it. I'll turn the camera over actually. So wash these, wash these off real nice. Might have to do a little bit better. Starting to shine now. Now just like you're painting everything, let it dry. Dry it off best you can. You see like, somebody's chipping anyway, so that's why I'm gonna make it look nice. And there's a lot of road grime on there, I can't really get off. Put my hood up. So, on the back of the truck, worry about that. And like I said, we had new tires on there anyway, so. Oh, damn, it's starting to run. Let it dry. All right, so I just took a damp towel right down there. Just wiped it off. A little too early. I mean, some stuff started coming out, but I'm gonna go over a second time. A little more thorough. Oops, there's only a run. A warmer day would be more ideal because it'd dry a little bit better. Well, faster at least. Got a little bit of runs, I don't know. You can see like that one right there. But overall it looks pretty good. Let's get an overview of it. Not bad looking. Let's get the second one. I'm gonna do all four, but right now I'm just doing these two because I'm gonna be getting new tires on there. 
So. Make sure I get the outer rim. Definitely looks a lot better, I think. Let's just try again, we'll see what they look like. All right guys, it's been about 20 minutes now. Not too bad looking. So I'm gonna do one third final coat. And that should be it. And then I'll do an update on the video. I'm going, this weekend's supposed to be 50 degrees. So I'm going over to start working on the car. And I'll have the new tires on there tomorrow. And then I'll start doing the ones on the car still. So do one final coat and get the whole thing this time. The second coat, I kind of missed some. Shouldn't be a big deal though. I have to go find, I have some clear coat I'm going to put over this. I'm going to wait about an hour to do that. It's pretty good. So yeah, I got that clear coat in about an hour, let it dry. Nice gloss. I mean, be tough. Better if it shines and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna worry about getting inside because those get pretty dirty anyway. I mean, we live out out in the country, so yeah. I'll let these dry for an hour. I'm gonna go find my clear coat and throw some clear coat on it, and it should be good. Hopefully, uh, when I get my tire switched, the machine doesn't fuck the paint up. I don't think it will, but. I guess you never know. Now again, this is the two times ultra cover. Um, it's good for wood, metal, plastic, and more. So should not have a problem with these at all. I used a 99 cent um, black spray paint for right here. It was all faded black. It looked really nasty, and uh, that's still working pretty well. So. I'll put the link up there. Oh, hold on. Where's my finger? I'll put the link right up here for that video so you can see it if you're interested in that. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video, if it helps you out at all. Or if I'm just a dumbass, you know, just let me know. Doesn't hurt to be wrong. Anyway, so I had to go uptown, pick up some. I can barely even see. Pick up some of this Color Master. Um, you know, just clear coat for uh, metal, wood, plastic, and more. Just like spray paint. So, I got one coat on. It's really nice. It's really shiny and dark. This one has yet to have a coat. So, I'm going to do that now. Also, while I was at the store, I picked up a... Store, I picked up some fuses for the car and a thermostat. So stay tuned, subscribe if you'd like to see that. Uh, that's gonna be this weekend when it warms up. Pick up some gloves too. But anyway, so with the clear coat. Oh, I got a little dusty, good. So the, the video of me actually clear coating the rims for some reason got deleted, I'm not too sure how. But anyways, what's nice about this clear coat is that it sprays really thick but there's no runs, um, as you see. I put three coats on it. Uh, they dry, it dries in 10 minutes. It looks absolutely a lot better. So, if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything like that, just let me know. These are 17s, if anybody is wanting to know. And uh, yeah, so 
If you want to subscribe, subscribe for more. Like the video if you like the video. If you have any questions, comment below. And I enjoyed the time doing these. Pretty simple, easy, comes out good. And yeah, so next time you guys see these wheels, they're going to be on my G6. And hopefully, the thing actually works good. And I, I'll let you guys know also. But subscribe for more. Bye.